hey guys thank you so much for watching today i am giving you a raised garden bed update um some things are about to start happening because i want to move out this cold stuff and start bringing in things that are more appropriate for summer so right now we are looking at the ornamental kale and it is beautiful i have never been able to grow flowering kale to this size and this beautiful so those will be staying and i have another one at the end one or two at the end of the bed but so far we have taken out the spinach that used to be right here uh, it bolted but we were able to harvest a good amount from it we're satisfied and then the black seeded simpson lettuce we are trying to use as much as that as we can in the next day or two and then we're gonna pull that and then these big tall the swiss shard will stay uh, but these big tall things i believe these are um radishes and let me pull one because this one's starting to go to seed right here so let me pull that and see what it looks like because i'm not quite sure i planted and then didn't remember exactly what I planted it so let's just see oh, come on buddy okay so oh my goodness come on guy I gotcha so this looks like the black radish yeah so I don't know this one since it's gone to seed I don't know if it's still going to taste okay but we'll see ah mess so yeah let me go put this to the side real quick yeah that looks like the black radish i'll have to try it it doesn't look like it got like super big i don't know how big it was supposed to get but it still looks pretty tiny okay so i made a big mess over here with the dirt so th i had the black radish here and then there's carrot in between and then i also have these rinoculus that are um getting ready to bloom at least the ones on this side are showing buds which is super nice um let me see what else is down here i think it was just the radishes and then the lettuce right here and then the carrot and then we've got carrots in between and then i have another here goes the other ornamental kale right there and I decided to put it in the garden beds as a recommendation from uh, Roxana from Soils and Margaritas. That's how she grew hers, I think the year before last, and hers were beautiful. And last year when I grew mine in the fabric pots, they didn't do so well. The cabbage moths got to them. And then I think also too, I had them growing like super late in the season so it was hot in summer and you know these are really great for cold season you know gardening so i think that is part of the reason that i had you know more success with them this year is that i started them early i planted them in the beds and i'm just so excited i'm so happy to see these it's, they're just beautiful okay so here is my lemon thyme this overwintered from last year in this bed and it smells amazing that's why i'm fluffing it because if you fluff it that that smell wafts through the air and it's be it just smells so delicious and the plant is just gorgeous beautiful so i think that's it i probably i'm going to actually pull these radishes too because if that one's going to see the other ones are probably ready to go too yeah so the lettuce you know i could probably pull this today as well maybe i'll do that with you guys and then this bed here has still been covered the bok choy has gone to seed i've let it go to seed i'm going to collect seed from it this year i'm excited um here goes an ornamental kale down here that is super tiny there goes some pansies that i planted in there we've got the curly kale there's some carrots down here. There are, okay, so this radish is going to seed as well. And then there's um, black seeded Simpson lettuce in here and also um, 
red russian lettuce and i don't i think the bugs have gotten to the red russian lettuce but well, look how pretty those carrots are you know what i'm gonna go get a tripod and we'll start pulling things up hi honey what are you doing hi baby yes that's nola all right so i'm gonna grab a harvest basket and then let me show you guys what I'm gonna be using to cover up my bed. So the one bed already has netting on it out there. This time for the other beds, I'm gonna use this screen. So like this for the screened in porch. Um, someone recommended this to me when I was walking through Joanne's looking for tool. They said, try the screen because it's much tougher than tool and the like, squirrels and chipmunks and deer and groundhogs won't be able to break through this as easily as they would be able to do the tools so i'm going to give this a try um, once i clear out the beds and then um, get my summer stuff going i'm going to use that to cover up the remaining two beds that i want to get covered ah! what is it my heart every time i walk by this harvest or um herb dryer and i hit my head on it one of these falls onto the ground did you get it nola what are you doing you're so gorgeous that's my pretty girl yeah she's so pretty she's shedding so much right now so much she sheds the most out of the three all right sweetie i gotta get some stuff Well, these are the radishes. So I got everything out that I wanted to. I got the lettuce out, most of the black radishes, and then in this bed. And then over here, I got out most of the black radishes, the Yugoslavian red lettuce, and then the other black seeded Simpson lettuce. So hopefully having a little bit more breathing room in here will allow some other things to take off. Um, the kale's looking really good. I need to start harvesting from that. The carrots need to be thinned. So I've got to thin the carrots in this bed. This bed, I've already thinned the carrots. Um, they still look very wayward. So we'll see if getting a little bit more sun uh, will be helpful for them. So yeah, pretty soon I'll start doing some full raised bed tours because I've got a lot of stuff going on in this raised bed area right here um, we did take out the greenhouse yesterday and it looks so open and bare but I think it was time if anything you know if anything doesn't survive just doesn't survive I'm kind of at that point where I'm just like exhausted with it all so yeah and then here are our radishes um, I'm still gonna try them even though some of them went to seed uh, just gonna cut off this 
stuff up here and then wash them and give them a try Ugh. but yeah there there's a lot of teeny ones so i probably won't bother with those just put the them in the compost with the other discarded materials so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know if you have any questions about what was growing in the beds and how we did it um there are a few other videos before this one about uh the cold frame gardening so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye